Hello friends. Today we're going to take a departure from the housing market data. We have a critical urgent update that I must share. I feel a moral responsibility to share, but we must remain vigilant. In the past 24 hours, additional confirmation has emerged from the former FBI director substantiating claims that multiple foreign terrorist organizations have called for attacks against Americans and the West. Our country is really at an increased threat for a terrorist attack. Congress has expressed concern that our country is at an increased threat of a terrorist attack, believing that over the past few years, terrorist groups have infiltrated the United States. According to the intelligence, cells are present in cities nationwide of cells spreading all across America. According to intelligence, they have cells in- Including Washington, D.C., New York, all throughout the state, San Francisco, California, Santa Clara, California, Los Angeles, California, San Diego, California, Houston, Texas, Arlington, Texas, Dallas, Texas, Boca Raton and Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Orlando and Tampa, Florida, Boca Raton, Florida, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Orlando, Florida, Tampa, Florida. The cities in Florida that are mentioned are particularly alarming to me because I live here. My kids go to school in one of them. These are all areas that I do business in and I have tons of friends and family that live there. Boston, Massachusetts, Plainfield, Illinois, Chicago, Illinois, Cleveland, Ohio, Laurel, Maryland, Potomac, Maryland, Harrington, Virginia, Springfield, Virginia, Raleigh, North Carolina, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Charlotte, North Carolina, Detroit, Michigan, Columbia, Missouri, Kansas City, Missouri, Denver, Colorado, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, Tucson, Arizona, Seattle, Washington, it seems as though almost every city in the United States is at risk right now. And it's alarming because I have so many friends and colleagues that live in all of these cities and states. And I suspect you do too. The sleeper cells right now in America, but this administration hasn't done nothing. What about the Iranians we're ca catching coming across our border down in Texas in just the last few days? These cells are allegedly sleeper units positioned to launch simultaneous coordinated strikes in major cities across the nation. Yet it appears that the current administration has taken no action. Moreover, there are reports of Iranians being apprehended at the Texas border in recent days. Further information on these sleeper cell units suggests a strategic rather than a tactical threat. They've been here for years, purportedly facilitating the entry of others and are now poised to execute a coordinated strategic attack on the United States. Israel can go to hell! We stand at the threshold of such an assault and additional confirmation on this is forthcoming. I intend to share video footage underscoring that an attack on U.S. soil is highly probable with the FBI warning that this could include cyber attacks on infrastructure. They urge vigilance regarding our water supply, electrical grids, and airports. The list of cities with reported cells is alarmingly extensive, reinforcing concerns highlighted by protests in Washington, D.C. against the war in Gaza, which also featured calls for the destruction of Israel. Warnings suggest that religious gatherings, particularly those of Christians and Jews, might be prime targets for potential attacks. I am committed to keeping you informed as knowledge is power. Preparing ourselves and our families is essential. If you value these updates, please support the channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing for the latest information, which is offered totally free of charge. Now let's examine the video footage that provides further insight into the situation. Neither FBI Director Christopher Wray nor the president can confirm the presence of Hamas members in the United States who might launch a deadly attack. However, both state and federal officials, including the governors of Oklahoma and Texas, have echoed the severity of the threat that looms not only abroad, but here at home. Our country is really at an increased threat 
for a terrorist attack. Former FBI Assistant Director Chris Wecker has stated that the terrorist threat now is more pronounced than even before 9-11. With our southern border being porous, there is heightened concern about who may be entering the country. Post 9-11 security measures seem to have been abandoned, and there is genuine fear that terrorists are already within our borders, potentially planning organized activities. The extent of the threat is not limited to those already here, but also to those continuously crossing our borders undetected. These terrorists are unwavering in their resolve to undermine Western civilization requiring our utmost attention and action. In closing, the vast network of cells across America linked to organizations like Hezbollah and Hamas should not be underestimated. These sleeper cells, particularly Hezbollah Unit 910, pose a complex and long-standing threat. The operatives skilled in covert operations and traveling under false identities exploit local support networks, often at the cost of those supporters' freedom. As more details emerge regarding potential domestic terrorist attacks, I will continue to provide updates to ensure that you're informed. Please check out the recommended video and stay tuned for more information. Stay safe, God bless, and until next time, peace.